This week on Machinery PTV, lots of calls to the Brian Rage Farm leading up to his auction. This beautiful second owner 8420 brought a lot of that attention. Pete shows us how pickups are riding the wave of used equipment values. And the one that got away eventually made it back to the home farm. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Well folks, the used tractor market has just been on fire here late in 2020. And on today's episode of Machinery PTV, we're gonna put this trend to the test because we've got a pair of beautiful tractors here, a Deer 8420 and a 7230 with a loader, both second owner, low hours here for the farm retirement auction for uh, Brian and Nancy Rage. Now, before we watch these babies sell, we gotta catch up on our latest farm equipment news. Thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Soybean prices skyrocketing past $12 in December, and one analyst thinks the stage is set for possible $15 soybeans in the new year. A cocktail of changing demand, supply story, supported soybean prices in December, from tightening stocks to possible weather troubles brewing for South America's crop, the evolving news was enough to push soybean prices over that $12 mark. Dan Bossi of Ag Resource Company says he is looking at one of the more bullish outlooks for soybeans he's seen in his 40-year career. If we lose any of the South American crop, let's say I'll, I'll throw out a number of 7 million metric tons, my modeling shows that bean prices could make it up to 14 and a half or $15. Next year, I need to find seven or eight million extra U.S. acreage. So there's this demand battle going on. And all of this tells me that there's 18 or 24 months before I can restock the pipeline and turn to anything that would be a blasting bearish nature. Meanwhile, about 9 million Americans get sick and more than 1,300 people die every year from eating contaminated food. Now that's according to a new government report. Salmonella, E. coli, listeria, and campylobacter make people sick most often. Now the report says no one food was to blame for these outbreaks. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. That's it for news. Have a happy new year. Now back to Machinery P. Hang in there with us, folks. Coming up, one of the hottest sectors of the market here in 2020 has been good condition used loader tractors, and that's exactly what we have today. This John Deere 7230, 3,050 hours with a 740 loader. Okay, folks, time to talk loader tractors. I'm here with auctioneer Mike Mosky. And Mike, we got a dandy here. This oh, I tell you what, this, uh, this is a sweet little loader tractor. And, and you know, with front wheel assist, you know, years ago when we had two wheel drive tractors and loaders and, and uh, no cabs or anything like that, you, you fought it and the front end was in the mud. But these front wheel assist that John Deere put together, well, anybody put together, and uh, the good clean cabs. Now this particular loader tractor, like 3,050 hours on it, and the loader, one year you just got a call, someone said the paint is still There's in the bucket. There's still paint in the bucket. The guy said, what do you use the loader for? He said, there's still paint in the bucket. So, and a lot of paint. And, and uh, Brian took good care of this tractor. Uh, most of the time he uh, pulled a bat wing with it. Okay. And, and uh, uh, just, general, just general service, he's a second owner. 
And, uh, and he bought it with pretty low hours yes, way back? Yes, not very many hours okay. on it at all. And I was in it yesterday moving stuff around, and it's just, it's just such a joy. Mike, our 13 model Unreferth 9250. Uh, these things have gotten a little bigger since I, we got started in the business, haven't they? You just wonder how big they're going to get. You know, you, uh, when uh, when I first started in the business, nobody had a grain cart, and if you did, it might be 400 bushel and uh, uh, side auger, and you couldn't see it, and you'd be in the truck and everything, and and, uh, and uh, but now. You know, everybody's got at least one or maybe two, right. and uh, filling semis and, and uh, chasing down the uh, chasing down the combine. But you look at the auger on that twenty and twenty and twenty-two and twenty-four inch augers, and wonder when you unload in in two minutes, unload that eight nine hundred bushel in two minutes. I mean, it's amazing. You know, yeah, it is something. I know when you started sending me auction prices thirty years ago, Mike. We uh, we yeah we weren't seeing this type of grain cart on, on, no, on farm no. sales like this. Because everybody stopped on the end and filled up the truck or filled up the wagons and and, uh, and took them to town. But now, you know, now you're seeing everybody with semis. I mean, right. they've gone right from, from the, the two-ton trucks to skip the tandems and gone to the semis. Right. So. 19 to 19, 5 19, 5 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, it's 21 to 22. It's 21 to 22. Right there with you. 21 bit 22. It's 21. 21 5. 21 bit. 21 5. Cody, raise your hand. 21 5. 20 bit. 21 bit. 21 5. It's 21 bit. There. Internet with you. Out with you. 21 5. 21 bit. 21 5. 21 bit. 21 5. 21 bit. 21 5. I have. Oh, right here. 21,000. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. Market for good condition used tractors late in 2020, folks, extremely hot. Definitely saw this on the auction market all around the country. Oh, an example would be a farm auction in Northwest Missouri on December 19th, where this really sharp 1988 Case IH Magnum 7120 sold. You can see how nice it looks. One owner, 2,244 hours. This baby went for $67,500. Now that's the second highest auction price I've ever seen on a Magnum 7120. 
The only higher one went for 69K, came out of Michigan, but that was over five years ago. Now on that same auction, and this sale was by our friends at Sullivan Auctioneers, by the way, had this 1990 Ford 8830 with 5,091 hours on it, sold for 38,500 bucks. That's the all-time record high price I've ever seen on an 8830. The previous record was over seven years ago. Now, three days before that on a farm auction out in Southeast Virginia, this very low hour John Deere 8360R, which of course Deere made this model from 2011 to 14, 360 horse. This thing had 620 hours on it and sold for 221,500 bucks. Very strong price. In fact, the highest auction price this year on a Deere 8360R. But folks, let me share an amazing stat with you on a Deer 8360R. The average auction price in 2020 is $161,739. You want to guess what the average uh, dealer advertised price is? Just over $10,000 less, $151,734. So real sign there of how very hot the used market is for the very good condition low hour tractors. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we're Illinois bound to learn about a classic John Deere 730. This family-owned tractor was sold a few years ago and partially restored. Owner Rob Albers realized it was too important to give up, so he bought it back. That's the first tractor I got to drive. That's the first tractor I ran in the field. Um, I think the first time they sent me to the field was from right here on this spot on that tractor. So a lot of history there for me. Uh, when I took this farm over from my dad several years ago now, uh, that tractor was still here. In fact, it hadn't been that long ago that my dad actually used that tractor to plant with. We made the decision together that that tractor was probably going to be in the way and it was time for it, to, for it to go. So I listed it on eBay and a gentleman from California bought it. And he had a friend of his from Michigan, I think, come and pick it up. And uh, that guy took it and did somewhat of a restoration to the tractor. And the gentleman from California sent us photos back after the guy had worked it over a little bit. And my dad looked at him and I looked at him and we both said, well, dang, <laughs> wish we hadn't done that. Uh, but several years passed and we went to the 50 years or the, the half century of progress show over in Rantoul. And during their parade, about the uh, third or fourth 730 that passed me that day, I said to myself, I'm getting that tractor back if I can have it. And I'd stayed in touch with a guy in California and he, he was gracious enough to agree as soon as I called him, you bet you can have that tractor back. I know what it means to you. The idea that I might've let that tractor get away, <clears throat> you know, it only, it only really took a few years to, for it to sink in what I might've done there. So yeah, it just meant the world for me to me for that guy to agree I could have it back. It's retired, lives a good life, lives under a cover in the nice garage, not out in the shed. Uh, when I took this farm over from my dad several years ago now, uh, that tractor was still here. In fact, it hadn't been that long ago that my dad actually used that tractor to plant with. Uh, all that tractor does now is tractor drives and a parade here and there. And I get a, get a lot of pleasure out of that. Well, so far this year at auction, I've seen John Deere 8420 tractors sold anywhere from $29,500 on the low side up to $133,000. Now stay with us, folks. Our feature item is 05 model, 3,750 hours on it. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. All right, folks, this is what you've been waiting for, our feature item on the sale today, a beautiful 2005 John Deere 8420. I'm here with owner Brian Rage, uh, how many hours you got on this thing, Brian? Uh, 3,800, I think, something like 3, that. 3,800, that, uh, I bet that generated quite a bit of interest. Yeah, a lot of people say, is that real? Sure. Yeah, and it is. It had uh, 500 hours on it when I bought it. Mm. So my- So you're second owner. I'm second owner. Okay. 
And uh, my farming, I, I have uh, just used this tractor for tillage. Okay. It would be my uh, um, mulch ripper and the soil finisher. And uh, but I no-tilled my beans, so okay. you know it was only going over half my half my acre. Right. So that's why it, it's not so so many hours. So, right, yeah. and right in that sweet spot. I mean, yeah. 15 years old. Low hour, second owner. Uh, it's kind of what everybody wants, Brian. Yeah, well, bit, bit <laughs> early, bit often. <laughs> now, Brian, uh, the sale, first week of December, had you been eyeing this time of year for when to have your sale? Well, um, as you know, during my time, when, when I wanted to buy a piece of equipment, it was usually after the fall harvest, see what the money looks like, what the crop looks like and uh, what your tax situation looks like. Right. And that was kind of the time frame when I bought most of my equipment is right towards the end of the year, right. trying to you know, take advantage of any tax uh, savings and, sure. and, uh, and you know what your money is that you have in hand. Right. So that's how, uh, that's how I kind of set this, this time frame. And uh, fortunately, you know, I did that before the prices rallied. I was going to ask, did you did you arrange oh, this I'm not run that up in smart? The... <laughs> I'm not that smart. It, it, you timed it very well here, Brian. Yeah, it, it, that just uh, who knew? Yeah, who knew? Folks, auction sale prices were really trending higher end of 2020, pretty much across the board, any type of used equipment in good condition. But I will say that one area that really jumped out was used pickup trucks. Now, yes, I've been compiling auction prices on pickup trucks for 31 years. I think if you go to machinerypeat.com uh, and look in the auction price data, which is free now, I think there's over 50,000 prices there. Now here are just a few examples, uh, recent examples, to show what I'm talking about, strong uh, recent prices. This 2010 Ford F-250 with 32,802 miles on it sold for $34,000 on a November 20th farm auction in Northwest Ohio. Now here is a 2006 GMC 3500. This thing had 51,000 miles on it and sold for $34,500 on a December 19th farm auction in East Central Illinois. Now here's a picture of a 2004 Chevy 2500 HD, 61,150 miles on it, and this came out of Northeast Nebraska, sold on an online auction December 2nd, went for $32,750. Now if we change gears just a little bit into the collector market for used pickups, here's a picture of a 1985 Ford F-150 XLT. This thing had only 5,500 actual original miles on it still had the original window sticker this sold on a collector auction in north carolina november 6 went for forty nine thousand five hundred dollars and i'll leave you with this one folks this is from a november 17th uh, farm auction in southwest north dakota a 2020 gmc 3500 hd sierra denali package only 945 actual miles on it sold for sixty nine thousand five hundred dollars now folks, if you would have told me 31 plus years ago when I started collecting auction prices that someday I would tell you about a used pickup truck that sold for almost 70,000 bucks at auction, I wouldn't have believed it. I hope you enjoyed our visit to Central Illinois today folks to drop in on the farm retirement auction for Brian and Nancy Rage, the sale put on by my good friend Mike Mosky. Folks, I think we proved again today when you take great care of your farm equipment, it really holds its value. That feature item, the 05 John Deere 8420, 3,750 hours, 86,000 bucks, almost 16,000 over the average auction price. See you back here next week, folks, on Machinery Pete TV. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support.
Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. <laughs>